question, um, why did it fall to child support? You, you guys couldn't work on an agreement? <clears throat> or did, did it get bitter? Uh, true story. Mm-hmm. Two weeks ago, they froze my bank account. Dang. I had over $10,000 in my bank account. I'm just being transparent. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Right? You asked me. Yeah. And uh, I called the state, the government. I said, yo, listen, if you look at the records, I've been paying consistently, not only my current, <clears throat> but my rears for the last 10 years ritually at the price you guys set. I paid my taxes. And once you guys saw that I paid my taxes and saw where the bank account was linked to the taxes, you automatically went into garnishing mode without checking your files and doing the due diligence Mm. on what the fuck is going on. I spent an hour on the phone with these people. They gave me 9,000 and some change back and took 700 and something dollars just off GP. Yes. Just cause that's not going towards nothing. That no, that, no, that's going towards the rears. That's going, going towards right, that, okay, that, right, that, okay. that 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 five six thousand left. All right. But the point I'm trying to make is that if you if you don't get to a place where you're humble and you you're gonna go and be knowledgeable and mature about it, it can easily choke the shit out of you. Yeah, make you bitter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. 10000 ain't a lot of money, but it was there for a purpose. And to see your bank account get froze on the way to physical therapy, on your digital app, because, you know, a nigga like me check my shit every five, ten minutes. Why not? I don't know what the fuck going on. Mm-hmm. I'm on a train going to physical therapy in Throg's neck. I'm looking like, what the fuck just happened? I stopped immediately, got off the train. I went to MCU and sat there for two hours mm. until I can get that situation rectified. I called my baby mother. I said, I said, I said, baby mama, did you change anything? What's going on? They froze my account. They took everything. You know what she said to me? Give me a second. Let me look on the motherfucking website portal and see if you paid in like you're supposed to be paying. Like she the police officer. Mm. I didn't say nothing. The old truth would have cursed her out. Mm-hmm. The old mm-hmm. truth would have been right out around the corner, knocking on that door, mm-hmm. ready for the police to come get me. Mm-hmm. Nah, not me today. Six thousand dollars left, five thousand dollars left. Listen, we not doing this. What's going on? She said, "You know what, truth? Had I not had known that you would have went through all of this, I would have never put you on child support." But the irony of it is, she could easily get on the phone and say, "In this shit now." Mm-hmm. Did she do that? Nope. A week later, she was going to Dorney Park with her man, with her man, with my children, and begging me to assure the fact that my son goes on that trip so she can have that whole full family experience. Mm-hmm. And I supported her on that. Oh, on your time with your son? No, just her oh. taking a family trip with her and her man. All right. But what was she asking you for? Can I encourage my son oh, okay. to go on a trip? Because my son Cause was like, yo, that's a dub. He didn't want to go. Okay. He's okay. 16. He's like, yo, that's a dub. I'm not going to Donny Park with y'all. Okay. I said, man, man, listen. This is important for your mother. Do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Her daddy. All right? So, I don't, mean, I don't mean to be outspoken right now. Nah, nah. You're talking, this, man. You talking this is friends. true shit. Yeah, yeah, this ain't no this. for fake. We need this. This ain't for fake. Yeah. And to top it off, I was in the middle of relocating. That money was there for a purpose. So, the thing that we need to start doing is not just talking this shit. We need to educate our people on what child support is what our options are, how to keep our composure, and how to make it through it. Well, being being on being on and then off and then on again and having to pay the rears. What advice would you 
have for a man who's saying that he's working it out with his kid's mother. And that that the ghost of the rear is, is on him mm-hmm. the whole time. Like, he's having good faith with her. Right. Should he trust her for 18, 21 years and hope that he pays everything and have that cordial relationship? Or should he just put himself on child support to protect himself from giving money and being on, on rears? That's trippy. It's trippy because everybody's income bracket is different. Okay. Right? Some people can't afford to just put themselves on child support. Right? 50 put himself on child support. But he could afford it. I know I know a couple of men who put themselves on You know on, what I'm saying? On, on, on but I know child. 50 did it. Yeah. And yeah, then and then it. he threw a when his son turned 21, he threw a off the child support party, <laughs> a mega party. <laughs> I almost went. <laughs> and I'm not lying. Okay? So, what I can say is this. When money is involved, all bets are off. All bets are off. We're living in times now where materialistic things are very, very important to people. All bets are off. Your best thing to do is get married Hold it down and don't have children unless you really, 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 really ready. Because mm. it's coming. And what does ready look like? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> the, the right woman means, I think, me, if I was going to ask answer that, that question, I would feel like ready, 80% of it is on the woman that you're having the child with. 97. Okay. Mm-hmm. Look. It's, it's like the feds. Yeah. Never, 97% right, uh, right. of conviction right, rate. Right, 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 right. 97% yeah. on the woman. Yeah, okay. And I don't mean that no disrespectful way. Nah, like, no, no. Like, well, you, you, he had, well, not a similar situation, but he prides himself on not having to. Yeah, I have a daughter now. She's 24. And I had her when I was 19. And me and her mother was able to work it out where I never paid. I, I never was on child support. Yo, you know? I, I mean, I, God bless you. Yeah. Um, To this day, we can walk around the corner. And my, my the mother of my children can say, yo, this nigga is a, a good father. Right, right. Her mother says that. Yeah. That's what I don't I even need her to say that. Her mother and her father fucks with me. Her brothers, her cousins. We still family. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when money's involved. You're funny. So you never, um, you never looked at her funny. You never had disdain for her. Years, or, years yeah. of disdain. Okay. okay. Until I realized that, um, ultimately, uh, my uh, my contribution is to make sure and ensure the fact that her mind is in a safe place, and in turn, when her mind is in a safe place, my children are in a safe place. Yeah. So I had to flip it. I had to get out of my feelings, get out of my emotions, yeah. and, and pay the piper. Yeah. Word. It, it, whether it's right yeah. or wrong. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I feel it's wrong. But, you know, for for the sanity of my children, to not have a reckless woman, she did it anyway for a short period of time until she matured. Oh, fuck your father. He ain't shit. You think this $200 or something, this ain't shit? You know what I mean? I had to go through that. Yeah. And, and yeah, you know, and so for me, um, because the way I was raised, I thought it was essential that I do, I go the hard route. And I did. That's what's up. And I'm almost done. That's what's up. Yeah.